These are the science eight notes for heat and temperature. These are the words to know. Heat, temperature, thermal energy, conduction, convection, radiation, absolute zero. Here's what you're going to be learning. What is temperature? What are the three temperature scales? What is thermal energy? What is heat? What are the three forms of heat transfer? So what is temperature? And what are the three temperature scales? A measure of the average kinetic energy of the individual particles of a substance is the definition of temperature. Basically, it's how fast all the stuff is moving in a substance. So if all the particles are going really fast, it's got a really high temperature. If they're all going slow, then it's got a lower temperature. The three temperature scales are Fahrenheit, Celsius, and Kelvin. Here are the three scales. There's a Kelvin scale, the Celsius scale, and the Fahrenheit scale. See the differences between these three. Fahrenheit, water boils at 212 Celsius at 100, Kelvin at 373. Kelvin scale, notice, absolute zero is at zero. Celsius is a scale where water freezes at zero and it boils at 100. And Fahrenheit's generally used for weather and temperature in that range. So we have that water freezes at 32 and all the way up to your, your body temperature, you're probably used to at 98.6. Here it's rounded up to 99. So take a look and see the differences between these three scales. The absolute zero mark, or zero Kelvin, is a temperature at which there is no motion anymore. There is no movement of any atoms or particles or molecules. Nothing's moving. That's why it's absolute. It can't get any colder. And scientists have yet to make anything at absolute zero. They've come close, very close, but yet to get anything at absolute zero. Thermal energy and heat are often confused. Thermal energy is the total energy of all the particles. Remember that temperature is the average kinetic energy of the particles, where the thermal energy is the total energy, and heat is the movement of thermal energy from one place to another. The three forms of heat transfer the ways that thermal energy moves from one place to another are convection, conduction, and radiation. Convection is movement within a fluid caused by differences in density. Less dense things float. When things get warmer, they expand and they become less dense and they move up in a fluid. And as things cool and become more dense, they sink. And this causes a cyclical motion often in fluids. And by fluids we mean air is a fluid, water is a fluid. So both gases and liquids are considered fluids and convection occurs in gases and liquids. Some other Examples of convection include the interior of the Earth, where we have convection currents driving continental drift and plate tectonics, and the movement of the plates, and also in making wind. As air heats up, it will rise, and then as it cools, it will sink again. Conduction will occur in solids. So if there's a solid involved and in heat moving through it, then we know that that thermal energy is being transferred by conduction. Heat is transferred from one particle to the next particle without those particles actually moving or changing place. They're moving in that they're vibrating, right? They're going faster, but that vibration is carried down a substance. There's no actual movement of the particle, though, from one place to another. Radiation is transfer of energy by electromagnetic waves. So heat can move out of a substance 
by this radiation, the electromagnetic waves. So when you feel heat from something, from a fireplace or a stove, that is often the radiation. Sometimes it's convection, though, but often that is radiation. This is how we get heat energy from the sun. And here's an example with all three to try to help you tell the difference between each one. Convection is occurring in a liquid, or a fluid. Conduction, movement in a solid. And radiation, that's movement by the electromagnetic waves. And that's the basics of what you need to know about heat and temperature.